God, we're ready.
all holy trinity have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us from our sins, master pardon our iniquities. Holy God, who can heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. According to the multitude of thy tender mercy, flood out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy works, words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, thou hast shaken in iniquity and in sin, and my mother conceived me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things in thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bolts which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy holy spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Perhaps thou desire to sacrifice, I would give, have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart of God thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will, and to Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offerings, and whole burnt offerings. Then shall the offer bullocks upon thine altar. Shame and confusion, who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor, who desire my hurt. Let them be appalled for the way. Shame, who say, Aha, aha. We all who seek to rejoice in the God of thee, and those who love salvation, say everyone, God is great. But I am a poor needy, hasten to me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Lord, do not tarry. Hear my prayer, Lord, give ears to my supplication, and the faithfulness answer me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall not man who be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground, he hath made me to dwell in darkness, as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the works of thy hands, I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts after thee. Hear my prayer, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide me not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I pray unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. The Spirit has go to lead me to the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For the righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercies, cut off my enemies. And destroy all that benefits my soul. For I am thy servant. Glory be to God on high and on earth. Peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father, Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ. 
to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, bless thee and now praise thy name forever and thee forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have heard unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. For Lord, O oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, o Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, o Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten of name, of one essence of the fathers, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, who was in heart of the Holy Spirit, from the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, who suffered and was buried, and on the very day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, which kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge the baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come.
prophets had proclaimed, Hail thou ornament of the apostles. Most holy Theotokos, save us. From thee was the dew, the dew was distilled, the quench of flame of idolatry. Wherefore we cry to thee, O virgin, hail, O dewy feast with dew and did foresee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, we cry. Behold, we cry unto thee, hail be thou our haven and our fort, where we voyage on the sea of tribulation, and all the snares of the adversary. Both now and ever, and known to ages of ages, amen. O cause of joy, favor us with reason to cry out unto thee, hail thou bush that burns yet unconsumed, thou white full of cloud, which unceasingly shelters the faithful. The God divine his children worship not the preacher, rather than the creator. A trampling upon the thread of fire in many fashion, they rejoice and sing. Oh, praise for in God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Most holy of the mystic sun, true vine that its produce the ripe cluster of grapes, dripping wine to gladden the souls of those who with faith do glorify thee. Most holy day of Togo, save us. Hail the bride of God, who spare the healer of mankind, the mystic staff from which blossomed the unfading flower. Hail, O sovereign lady, through whom we are filled with joy, and find our portion life. Most holy Deo Toco, save us. The tongue of eloquence has no power to sing thy praises, O sovereign lady. For thou wast exalted above the seraphim, when thou didst bear Christ the King. Do thou now implore him to deliver from all harm those who faithfully reverence thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The ends of the earth to praise and bless thee, and cry out unto thee, Hail, pure maiden, scroll on which the finger of God is inscribed his word. Do thou now implore him, O Theotokos, to write down thy servants in the book of life. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Thy servants bend the knee of our hearts and implore thee, O pure virgin, O pure maiden. Incline thine ear and save us who are engulfed in tribulation. And guard thy city, O Theotokos, from every assault of her enemies. The three holy children in the furnace, the child of the Theotokos, say, and was the time now is its full.
tongues of Jesus are driven away, and the multitude of every spirits are vanquished. O virgin, salvation of the mortals. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. We hear thee, O blessed one, who did bring forth salvation for the world, through which we have been raised from the earth, through the heights above, both from thee and thou art, shelter and stronghold, old war and fortress of the convulsing. O ye words of the Lord, and let me by him unto all ages.
have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, who us from our sins, master pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Provide us the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and in the grave is the
earthly and material thoughts. And grant us, O God, a watchful mind, a prudent reason, a vigilant heart, and a tranquil sleep free from all the fantasies of Satan. Raise us up against, at the hour of prayer, strengthen in thy commandments, holding steadfast within us the remembrance of thy judgments. Grant us grace to glorify thee all through the night, that we may praise and bless and glorify thy name. All honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. O most glorious Son of Virgin, blessed Hail to our cross, present our prayer to thy Son, our God, and intercede with him, that through thee he may save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protection. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee.
precious and life-giving cross, at the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, for running the Baptist child and all the holy prophets, of the holy glorious and the laudable apostles, especially the holy apostle Philip, the patron and protector of our holy community, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and And our righteous Father, Erasmus of the Jordan, the holy martyrs Paul and Juliana, his sister of Ptolemaeus in Palestine, St. Gregory, Bishop of Constantia in Cyprus, St. Gregory, Bishop of Assos in Anatolia, St. Wenceslaus, Prince of Bohemia, St. Basil, Prince of Rostov, the saints of Pskov who were martyrs, and St. Daniel, the Prince of Moscow, and St. Theodore, whose miracle of the week we are celebrating, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth and God. longer 
because we are growing, because we are giving fruit. And we read all of this with an eye to the Virgin Mary, who is the best example of the branch who is connected to the vine, deeply rooted, who bear fruit. And that fruit, of course, was that ripe cluster of grapes that was crushed and fermented and became the offering, the wine cup of God's redemption in Jesus Christ's spilled blood that we are preparing to celebrate on Pascha. So let's have her as an example of the branch that abided in the vine, the branch that bore fruit, the branch that was pruned and bore more fruit, the branch that was not thrown into the furnace, but continues to bear fruit even after physical life, the Virgin Mary's physical life ended 1970 years ago or so, and yet she's bearing fruit because she abides in Christ, and even death does not stop that love that we have when we abide in Christ. So let's let's focus on this for Lent. Be like the Virgin Mary and receive the good news with joy and multiply it. Be like the Archangel Gabriel at the beginning of this hymn says, an angel was sent from heaven to say hail to the fair pilgrims. And the rubric says to say it three times, underlining it, putting it in bold, putting it in italics, an angel was sent from heaven to the say, Hail to the fair pilgrims. And we can be like that angel and give good news to people in big ways and little ways. And we can be like that angel and stand before our icon of the Virgin Mary and say, Rejoice! Hail! And when the Virgin Mary hears us say, Rejoice! She's rooted perfectly in the Lord in heaven. She says to her son, they've asked me to rejoice. They've joined my joy to their joy. And son, multiply their joy. Restore to them the joy of thy salvation, son. So it's good that they're here tonight. There are 250 people that are missing tonight but I'm glad we're here together to bear fruit, and that fruit should be joy in the Lord, joy in the service, joy in sacrifice, joy even in the harsh moments of pruning. Amen.
See, I'm setting it up for next week. So it's up. See, when you're buying the, all, all these parts, remember I said it's good, it goes all the way from A to A to Z. The parts that the father does, like we were discussing zealously. And they divide them about four weeks. So each week they do one section. And except for the fifth week, they do a whole thing. But so this was the first section. And then next week is the second section. So so we so 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 next week we start off. So let's start up here, we'll start up here, we'll skip to, after three weeks, and then we'll skip to the second stasis, which is here, we start on G.